Alrighty, what is going on YouTube? So, as you can tell by my last video, I was actually watching the event live, like just waiting for the One Piece live action trailer to drop. And by the time it actually did drop, I wasn't really able to view it enough to like formulate my own opinions. I was like, I need to watch it a few more times and see kind of how I feel about everything. And since I was watching the live stream of the event, I couldn't like go back and actually rewatch it and stuff. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just post the video for now and like ask you guys how you guys feel about the trailer and then I can actually go over the trailer myself a few more times and actually you know fully analyze every little detail and see how I really feel about this One Piece live action trailer which is what we're going to do right now for today's video and hopefully you guys did make sure to leave a comment on my last video letting me know how you guys feel about the trailer because i was really really curious but i have not read any of those comments yet i'm going into this right after releasing that video so i'm still fresh and i want to just you know kind of go into everything dissect everything and really just formulate my own thoughts and opinions and yeah we'll see if any of those opinions that you guys posted in the previous video match up or line up with some of my own so yeah finally i'm able to just watch the trailer by itself on a youtube video and yeah let's just get right into it all right so we're just gonna dissect every little thing every little detail and i know i'm probably gonna miss a bunch of little you know easter eggs or hidden things like here and there because i'm not like the biggest one piece fan and I just don't remember every little thing that's in One Piece, but but yeah, so I apologize if I do miss like the little things, but um but yeah, I just really want to look at every frame, every detail and see like, you know, things I can talk about, you know. So far, I feel like this looks pretty good, like this scenery, this setting. And then we got like the uh overhead view of the going Mary, which is interesting. Okay, so this is like the first look at Luffy, right? You could see the scar. His scar is, I mean, it's not super, super like noticeable, but I feel like it's fine. I guess it doesn't have to be like too much, you know, like, like it does look, I think, pretty realistic. Like, I think if the scar were to be like, you know, more uh, deeper or like more noticeable, I guess, like, I feel like it might be a little too much and you could still tell that it's there for sure. You know what I mean? So I feel like the scar looks pretty fine and this... Honestly, this shot, like, of Luffy, I think doesn't look too bad, like, to be honest. Uh, like, this opening shot, anyway, this first shot. I think it looks fine, you know? He's, like, looking up or whatever. It looks fine. I'm not gonna lie, his vocal performance, like, when he first start, like, when he first starts talking... The sea's been calling. Like, yeah, like, his, his vocal performance when he, like, starts talking... Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. I feel like that first initial shot of him, like, showing him, I feel like that looks okay. But the way he's talking, I think, is what really, hmm, like, I'm I'm not really sure, you know what I mean? Like, I guess his lines make sense within Luffy's character, but I feel like the way he's delivering them, like, so far, feels very, like, kiddish, you know? And I mean, I guess, in a way, that's you know, Luffy's character, like, he is kind of childish in a lot of ways, but I don't know, I, I guess it's lacking that oomph, you know what I mean, like, so far it just sounds like a little, little kiddish, I guess, it's not, like, necessarily a bad thing, or, like, it's just, it ruins everything or anything, it's just something that I think I've noticed a little, when he first starts talking, it just doesn't sound like, you know, he's, he's, speaking like a leader right like it just sounds like he's a little kid like dreaming you know which i guess it doesn't matter if it like starts off that way in terms of something more but i'm just saying like the vibes that i'm getting so far from the trailer like i'm not necessarily criticizing it or saying that that's a bad thing but i'm just letting you guys know like this is how i feel this is what i'm getting from this trailer so far or like during this part you know what i mean but anyway we take a look at this shot here now luffy's not in the vest that he was just in. This shirt that he's wearing, though, it kind of reminds me of, like, I think it's the shirt that Luffy wears during Dress Rosa? Or, I'm not, I think that's the arc, I'm pretty sure, where he goes gear forth, like, for the first time, I think? I mean, I'm not sure. I hate to, like, say that and then I'm actually wrong or whatever, but you know what I mean, like, the shirt where it's, like, uh, it's like black or it's like darker and it's got some flowers on it, I think. God, it's been so long since I've like seen that. But like, you know what I'm talking about. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, or maybe something like just like an alternate outfit. Of, I mean, I'm sure there's 
maybe this look is actually based on a, on a maybe this look is actually based on an outfit that Luffy wears in the anime like in the newer stuff I haven't really seen a lot of the newer One Piece episodes or anything so it could be like based on that more so I'm not sure but it's just interesting that they would show this uh right here you know and here's like a, a better look at it I guess the shirt and you kind of like see all these people in the background I guess working on this ship so I feel like hmm interesting interesting it's interesting I guess I'm setting out to follow my dreams Okay, yeah, see, like, right there, like, he, he just, he's like, I'm setting out to follow my dreams. I feel like, I don't know, he just sounds so, like, kiddish, so childish, which I guess, maybe that's what they're going for. Maybe they're trying to, like, you know, latch onto the heartstrings of people that, you know, once had dreams and felt like a kid when they had those dreams, so they're trying to make us feel like a kid again, maybe, but I don't know. Also, we got another outfit change from Luffy. This time he's wearing suspenders, like, looking like Mario type B, like, that's interesting. Um, I don't think Luffy... I mean, pff, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Luffy never wore anything like this in the manga. I mean, I don't know, but... I don't know. I mean, Luffy does wear jorts, I guess, so... I guess it wouldn't be, like, crazy to imagine him in suspenders, but... I mean, I don't know. I've just never seen him in that, so it's... Interesting. That they would, uh... That they would go for that. Hmm. Okay. But, anyway... Speaking not about Luffy, you know, we see the Barati in the background. That does look pretty cool, I think. I think it looks pretty good. I think that at least looks pretty good. That set in the back looks pretty good. I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Okay, yeah, so then, of course, he says his famous line. See, I feel like, okay, I feel like, and, I, you know, obviously, I'm not the biggest One Piece fan, so maybe I have no reason to talk, but I just feel like whenever Luffy says, like, I want to be king of the pirates, like, there's just... A little more oomph to it, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just like a... I don't know. Like, I, again, I think they're just trying to, like, play on that, like, you know, feeling like a kid again type of, of heartstring and, like, oh, yeah, you know, you, you have big dreams and stuff. And I guess that's why he's delivering these lines in this way. But I feel like, I don't know, whenever I think of Luffy saying that, like, he's, he has, like, something to prove, you know what I mean? So when he says it, it's very, like... It's more so, I guess, aggressive. Like, the aggression is, like targeted towards like anyone that doesn't believe in him whereas this just feels a little bit more like you know again a little kid with big dreams i guess but anyway looking at this set though like this looks pretty okay i feel like it's just it's interesting i guess to think about it but yeah like i i guess this is what like one piece would look like in real life right like something like this i mean so far i think like the sets look pretty you know they look pretty good they look pretty interesting i guess Okay, okay, so, first look at Roanoa Zoro, right? I, I'm not gonna lie, okay, I kind of do like this shot at the very least. Like, seeing, like, the lens flare and then also the out-of-focus, like, Zoro, and I'm assuming that, like, they're probably gonna have it to where, like, he kind of wakes up from consciousness and then the focus comes in. Like, I could see that. I think that's a pretty cool idea. All I need is a loyal crew. It was, it was pretty hype to, like... It was pretty hype to, like, see this, because I'm like, oh, like, you already know, like, it's Zoro, but, like, yeah, um, I don't know, the way he said that, like, all I need is a loyal crew, like, it just, I don't know, like, his, it's like his delivery is just, it's just, it's goofy, it's very goofy, I don't know, hmm, but okay. Okay, so we got another shot of him right here. And I think. Oh, okay. Actually, is that Garp? I actually didn't notice this the first time watching it. <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't have been able to because, you know, I couldn't, like, go back or fast forward or whatever. But yeah, like, okay, this is interesting. Interesting. Oh, now that I think about it, okay. Like, the poster in the background, the guy. Because I thought that that, like, silver mask, I thought that that was going to be, like, his facial hair. That's why I was thinking of Garp. You can, like, see a little bit of texture in Luffy's vest, actually, which... Together, together we'd make a pretty good team. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, for that part right there where Luffy's, like, together we'd make a pretty good team, I feel like that was fine, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't... I'm sure in the context of the actual scene, I would be able to tell more of, like, if I liked it or not. Obviously, this is, like, you know, cutting between, like, his monologue and, like, uh you know, him talking within the trailer and the scenes and stuff like that, so that's fine. But, 
anyway, we gotta first look at Zoro here. Let's uh let's let's look at Zoro here. Let's look at Zoro here, right? Obviously, this is um, a very interesting freeze frame. Um, but yeah, you can see the earrings there. Okay. He looks... I don't know. He looks very like... I mean, McKenyu is like, you know, obviously very... Like, his skin is kind of pale, I guess. And he has that... Uh, <laughs> he has that sort of k-pop boy look to him, I guess. So I was really curious to see like how he would act or how he would look in you know costume and character and i do like i feel like it's a very interesting attention to detail that they have him a lot more tan in this shot anyway specifically because i mean zoro kind of is like a bit tan like especially in the earlier uh iterations of one piece he had a little bit of color on him like just a little bit right like he would look a little tan you know um so i feel like it's interesting that they uh, they have him here, like, you know, a lot more tan. Like, I think because it's McKinnu, it's really easy to tell that he's a lot more tan than he usually is. Um, so it's kind of like, damn, like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It, it just looks he just looks so tan like, man. But anyway, so the hair, like, I don't I guess I don't really care that much. Like, I feel like it looks all right it kind of reminds me of like the live action beast boy hair from like the live action teen titans show i guess a little bit i mean realistically i guess it's not like a huge deal i guess i mean i don't know I, like i was interested to see how they were gonna do his hair it's fine i guess like it's fine i don't know how do you guys feel about zoro's hair in the live action i feel like that's it's not like the best but it's not the worst either you know like it's fine i guess the hair is maybe not the deal breaker like depending on the rest of the look you know like if, if the rest of the look is fine then the hair is not going to be a deal breaker but if the rest of the look sucks then the hair maybe is more of a big deal maybe like because it would probably stand out more if the rest of the outfit was meh so i think it's all right i guess i mean i don't know we'll see i, I guess you got to see it more in action too like just from the shot it's kind of hard to tell but zoro's got different looks so we'll see we'll see we'll see based on the legendary manga by Ashiro oda let's go oh my god okay we're heading up to the grand okay and line. heading out to the grand line in the grand li okay let me stop see here here is where i think We'll be able to tell more, like how the hair is looking. You feel me? Because now it's like you know. All right, so let's 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 look at this. Let's look at this Zoro action we got going on here. Okay, like I mean, right here he looks pretty good. Like I can't lie, he looks pretty good. I feel like before you couldn't really see like the muscles on him, but like right here you definitely can. And yeah, I mean with the with the sh like it, it, he definitely looks more like in Zoro form right here for sure. Uh, I like that, I like that. I guess it's kind of dumb to say, but I do feel like, I don't know, when I think of Zoro, I think of, like, very, you know, manly, muscular. McKinnu kind of has that baby face low-key. I guess I was wondering what they were going to do in costume and makeup to make him maybe look a little more stern, but I don't know if they actually did that. Although, I guess it's not a big deal, but, you know, just something I thought about. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, it was really short what they showed with Zoro, but I feel like it's too short of a clip to really tell like all that much of like the action and how it will be with Zoro, I guess. I would expect Zoro to like fight a lot more people and stuff, I guess. But again, it was a really short clip, so I can't really say too much about it. But yeah, I, I think for the most part, like his costume looked really good on him during that fight. Don't know if it was just the lighting or, you know, if he'll look that good the entire time. But I think it looked he looked pretty fine, like in that short little clip. So there's that. Now we move on to Nami, Emily Rudd. First look slash first impression. OK, I feel like Nami hair wise, like the hair looks pretty good, I would say. It's got the shape like down, I think. Her shirt, I guess, is like that's fine too. Treacherous stretch of ocean. Oh, okay, okay. So she said a, a treacherous stretch of ocean. I feel like I mean maybe we have to see a little bit more, but I feel like from that, she kinda sounds like she's gonna be sort of like the 
the negative Nancy to add to like the comic relief sort of of the show, if that makes sense. She's gonna be like the Raven in Teen Titans where she just kind of like negatively comments on everything to like sort of even it out if it's like too silly, you know what I mean? And uh, I do typically like those types of uh, characters, especially if they are female. But I'm not sure if, I guess, Nami in the original One Piece would be that type of character. But, I mean, I feel like just in general, One Piece has a lot of those moments where it's, like, very comedic. And then there's a lot of, like, banter. And, I mean, I guess, if anything, Nami or Robin would be, like, that kind of character to be, like, you know, I guess more grounded in reality, maybe. You know, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just looking too into it. But, yeah, I do feel like she might be like that kind of character where she has like the goth girl kind of like serious tone of the group sort of thing when they're doing like comedic i guess bits and stuff so oh my god okay this fish this is <laughs> this is one cg ass fish oh my god i mean yeah when you think about it right because like the fish in one piece are like the giant like sea monsters and stuff some of them like are huge right but then they have like a goofy kind of look to them like similar to like i guess in dragon ball sometimes where you have like the dinosaurs and then they're like they look really good but then like i guess they have <laughs> kind of like a silly vibe to them in a way uh but one piece is like yeah they have like a lot of sea monsters in one piece like that uh so i guess i was um interested how they would do that or like the look for a lot of them but i guess it would just make more sense to make all the sea monsters look pretty realistic and some of them do look more realistic than others but i guess just the art style and one piece in general that's a little more on the goofy side than the more serious side to where like the sea monsters kind of fit more in that art style like they could maybe fit both i guess like they could fit like a, a serious fish like this like godzilla type or, you know, it could be, like, more goofy looking. And obviously they chose to go with this, which I think makes a lot more sense. Um, but, yeah, it's just, you know, something on my mind, I guess. Like, they could have they could have tried to make it look goofier if they wanted to, but they didn't. And I think that's a good choice, obviously. Because, you know, live action, we're trying to, I guess, we're supposed to, I guess, take it a little more serious, right? So, And that's the thing with One Piece is that One Piece has that very unserious art style for a lot of things in a lot of cases so it is interesting to see like which things they choose to you know go full on serious with and stuff like that so yeah islands man yeah we see shanks right there shanks looks pretty good i mean you can only see him from the back of course but still like the hair wet like hold on my boy looking pretty good but i i mean i guess i can't even say that because we don't see the frontal view but it's okay, it's okay. We saw... Actually, now that I think about it, we probably will... Will we? No. We'll, we'll see Shanks, right? But we won't... We probably won't see him like that, though. You know what I mean? Like, he'll probably be in there, like, flashbacks and stuff, but he probably won't be there for, like, a lot. Like, we wouldn't get a ton of screen time for Shanks, right? So, you know. Not that it really even matters, right? Until, like, later on, if the show actually does continue, stuff like that, but yeah. Bigger pirates. Okay, so... We've got this ship. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So. Uh, first look at Buggy the Clown. Um, hmm. He looks very creepy. <laughs> he looks very creepy, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Even the teeth, too. Like, oh, God. I mean, I guess that's, like, the point is, you know, they're trying to go for that pirate look, right? Like, the messed up teeth and, you know... Like, it's... I, like, I feel like this is, like, a Blackbeard, you know? Like, he's got the creepy, like, ugly vibes of Blackbeard, but it's Buggy, right? I mean, I guess, realistically, if Buggy were to be, like, you know, really, like like in real life you know like he would i guess i don't know i always think of buggy as like in a way like a little bit <laughs> a little bit adorable like i don't know it, i mean i know it's kind of stupid but i just feel like buggy is such a like he's like that character that's like never really a threat but like wants to be and i think that that's kind of adorable in a way um and like i, I guess because the english voice actor as well 
is the same voice actor that does uh, Baby from Dragon Ball GT. And I just feel like that voice fits Buggy so well. But, I mean, it's neither here nor there. Um, but, yeah, like, I guess, man, this is like, oh. It th- th- I think it's, maybe it's just the angle. Maybe it's just the angle. But this angle of Buggy looks mad creepy. Like, oh, my God. This is like nightmare fuel, dude. Like, holy. Oh, okay. Well, at least we got off of that frame <laughs> of buggy. Jesus Christ. I mean, I all I can say is I hope that in the future, or like, po- or like, I hope that in future scenes of him, like, he doesn't look as creepy. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel. Like, maybe you guys like that look for buggy. I mean... Not to say that it's a bad look. I think it's really just the angle. Uh, maybe in other angles, he doesn't look as creepy. doesn't look as bad. But I guess, you know, I mean, when you think about it, a clown, like, in a pirate, like, the clowns are already kind of creepy. So maybe they were trying to play on that as, like, oh, he's a clown and a pirate, and we can make him look really, really creepy. But, like I said, you know, I already talked about, like, what I think of Buggy or how I kind of view Buggy in a way. So maybe if you guys view him differently as, like, more of, like, a creepy-esque type of character, then maybe they nailed it. But, I mean, that's just how, like, that's not how I see him. So I feel like, I don't know, he just looks a little, like, extra creepy. And again, I think it's mainly the angle for that shot, but I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Buggy. Like, he, ugh. It looks a little weird, a little creepy, but I, I guess, I guess, mm, I guess I want him to look more like silly, you know, or like more like, <laughs> I don't know, you know, like, I don't know. He just looks kind of like, I think it's really just that shot. I'm not even going to lie, but I feel like, cause in the, in that shot, he's just like laughing. Like he's just cackling, like super creepy, you know? I feel like we need to see Buggy doing some, like, you know, making some funny faces or something to really see how the character is going to, like, you know, wear that look out. Um, so all I can say is that I hope in future scenes he will wear the look out much better. But we'll see. We'll see. That's all I can really say about Buggy for now. I don't know how I feel about just that frame of him, I guess. We'll see. But anyway, now we go on to Zoro with the bandana on, so... Careful with that! And then there's Nami. Okay, okay. Act. I don't work for you. I'm, I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Not, Not a, a crew. crew. Yeah, I think right here, like, you can start to see McKinnu, like, play Zoro, like, pretty good in this little bit here, I think. Because I feel like... You know, he's just like, I don't work for you. Like, I, I could see that. You know, I could see him kind of like starting to show that more serious side and like, you know, you know what I mean? Like the more badass side of Zoro in this little bit here. Again, it's very short. I can kind of start to see like a little bit more of um his character like show here, I guess, you know, I think Zoro's little like interaction definitely shines a little bit more uh, in this bit here. And then Luffy's like, I could sit a little bit of tension. Like, this little bit here, I think, is fine, you know? Like, it, I, I, like when I first saw it, I thought it was, like, fine. And now that I see it again, I think it's fine. I think it definitely, if anything, does a lot for McKinnu as Zoro. Like, showing more of that, showing more of the fact that he can, like, play that serious side um, within the, I guess, dynamic of, like, the rest of the crew. I feel like they're probably going to make it to where, you know, Luffy doesn't necessarily have his, like, leadership or, like, his full-on, like, badassery moments until maybe either the end of this season or, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe they just kind of have a different direction for Luffy in general. Um, Because right now, I feel like when it comes to their dynamic in, like, the crew and stuff, I feel like they're going to try and like go for more comedy i would say again like luffy like you know the whole vibe of one piece definitely does have like comedy and and banter and stuff but i feel like i don't know luffy like he has his moments where you know he, he he comes through right and he does like 
appear very badass, right? Right now, though, from, like, everything in this trailer, I just feel like we don't really, like, I don't see any possible way that, you know, Godoy is going to, like, portray that as Luffy, right? And I'm not saying that that's his fault, but I don't know if the writing in this show is gonna, like, do that, I guess, you know? But I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm just I'm just giving my initial thoughts on like everything. You know what I mean? Like I just feel like from this trailer, I don't know if we're gonna like see that that like Luffy become a a man. You know what I mean? Like I feel like for if anything, like maybe for this first season, it might be more of like they want to make the crew feel like they're all kind of equals and stuff like that. Because like from here, it's like you know, I think like. Isn't it at this point or, like, at somewhere near this point where, like, you know, Zoro kind of, like, swears his loyalty to Luffy or something like that? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know if I can necessarily see that happening, you know? Like, from what we've gotten so far. So, we'll see, I guess. Like, I, I guess what I'm, like, looking at or trying to, 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 I guess, see here is, like, you know, from, like, what the actors and actresses portray within the trailer itself like can i see them really living up to the characters in their anime counterparts you know what i mean and so far i think from this little bit like i can start to see makinyu as zoro you know what i mean from emily rudd as nami like i'm not sure if it's going to be the exact same nami but i think it's a nami that could be passable in this series but I don't know. I feel like Luffy as the main character, like, he kind of has some big shoes to fill. You know what I mean? And I think those big shoes are really, like, when he does those, when he has those epic moments, you know? And I'm wondering now if, from this trailer, we're going to get those epic moments. Or we're going to get that epic, badass Luffy, you know? But, I mean, I guess, you know, again, it's a teaser. So, you know, if they will have that like maybe you know we won't actually like see that in this right like they would want to you know maybe hide that or whatever but yeah just you know thoughts going through my brain um anyway let's continue okay usab okay so that was usab right so this is also luffy i guess rocking the blue now that's interesting um we haven't sailed together okay so this is sanji okay okay First time seeing Sanji, okay. I'll think I'll I think I'll go back to Usam actually like afterwards, but since we're already on Sanji, yeah, like the suit, I mean not that you can really get a full like frontal view of it, but I think you know it looks pretty okay. His hair looks alright, I guess. Like I I think his actually I think his hair is okay. Because now that I think about it, Sanji's hair is like it's like super, you know, yellow, I guess. But I feel like and maybe it could just be the lighting in this shot in particular, but I feel like it looks okay. Like, you know, it doesn't look too... Like, I think if it was... Mm, actually, I don't even know. That's the thing with One Piece. Like, One Piece is a very colorful, like, series, you know? So, like, in a way, if they were going to, like, make it really colorful to, like, match the vibe of One Piece, like, they could do that if they wanted to make everything really colorful, right? But I think they're going for a more realistic look for a lot of the characters and like you know other stuff the environments and uh the monsters and stuff like that so i guess in this context like if they were to make his hair like super yellow right like or something like that i feel like maybe it wouldn't look as great right because with zoro it's like okay his hair is green they got to make it green whatever but with sanji it's like he's you know blonde or whatever so it's like okay for him i guess it looks like it just it fits more like i think it looks more realistic or like you know it just looks like less fake you know for him and maybe that's just because taz skyler's hair is like sort of naturally leaning towards that color instead of like a really yellowish blonde you know so maybe that's it or again it could just be the lighting in the shot who knows but yeah i feel like it looks fine it looks fine there for very long, but okay. So we see Taz save Luffy, I guess, because Luffy can't swim. Right, 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 right. And I know we've got each other's back. Okay, so here we go. The people running and Luffy's like throwing a punch. Okay, hold up. This looks pretty all right. 
Wait, hold on, never mind. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm trying to like get a sense of the action here for for this. Uh when Luffy threw that punch. Hmm. hmm. Let me I guess keep going. We got Zoro with the sword in the mouth. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's something I definitely you definitely gotta see that, right? Like that's like one of like Zoro's badass but also signature like things about him you know it's like hey that's that guy with the sword in the mouth like that's so cool you know so that's pretty cool to at least see this okay okay everything it's 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 moving too fast it's moving too fast i'm trying to like freeze frame at the perfect moment what? okay okay so yeah he's like also spinning the swords okay so maybe we'll see i guess how they they work with that because obviously like sword in the mouth is is cool and all for the look right but to do that in live action is definitely going to be tricky and something that, I mean, I'll be very interested to see how they pull it off. But, you know, that's definitely, I think, one of those things where in anime, it just makes sense. But in live action, in real life, mm, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so now we got one of Nami. Different outfit. And she's using the staff. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool to see them all, like, fight here i guess but uh yeah okay i mean again it's like it's so short i can't really comment too much on it because you know it's just like it's all happening so fast but yeah okay first look at usab here okay you can see he's got the uh the armbands on him and everything the slingshot is pretty cool the color on the slingshot definitely uh yeah i think usab looks pretty good i guess yeah i mean i think i think usab looks okay He's not in like the full on like costume here. So that's also something I noticed is that Luffy like switches shirts a lot. And then you have Usab here, like he's just in he's just in a Hawaiian shirt. Like again, I guess it's not like out of the realm of possibility in One Piece, obviously, because you have characters that have Hawaiian shirts on and stuff. But I guess because it's real life and because you know a hawaiian shirt is like a look to some degree i guess that people have like in modern times i guess it's a little weird to kind of like think about that and see that and still try to separate like this is the world of one piece versus this is real life because now it's the world of one piece in real life so it's kind of like huh you know just that idea or that concept because it's already sort of a thing in modern times, like, it's hard to, I guess, not think about it or not stumbling or trying to explain things that just maybe don't even make sense. But, like, yeah. <laughs> Play it at half speed. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, there's a lot, like, there's a lot more, actually, I'm seeing now that I switched it to... 0.25 speed okay like look at this right his arm is actually already stretched so far back but then like before he throws the punch it comes back or like comes to him right and then he punches the guy but he does like an uppercut i guess the guy does start flying which is good because i feel like i don't know like when i first when you first just see it I mean, you can't really even tell that his arm was winded back. And then also when he punches him and uppercuts him, it doesn't really look like the guy's like going to start flying or anything. It looks like he just, you know, got hit or whatever. So it's like, damn, was Luffy even punching him? Like, was the impact even really, you know, you know, but OK, you could see a little bit more, I guess. Uh, like you can catch a little bit more things now that I have slowed down the speed a little bit. So that's. Cool. Maybe I will actually feel more of the oomph and that punch in the actual scene uh, now that I've noticed a few more things about it. Okay, okay. And then, yeah, this is, I guess, pretty much the end. So, so here we are with the crew with the feet on the barrel and everything. This is, you know, pretty iconic moment you can see Usab like and Sanji and Zoro actually everyone is like in their like full-on like costume look now so that's interesting you know this is this is that moment you know so I mean that's that's cool I guess uh I'll play it 
I'll play it at normal speed for now and then I'll replay it back after. Okay. Oh, that's um that's Kobe, right? Behind uh Luffy right now? Also, why is it like black? That's uh I mean it's it's whatever, but yeah. Oh god. Oh god, the CG. <laughs> oh, that's a very CG looking fist. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's um Alvida, right? That's crazy. It, uh, I mean, okay. Gum. 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 <laughs> I just realized it doesn't say gomo gomo no. It just says gum gum cuz it's yeah, English. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um <laughs> Dude, that man. Mm. I mean, hmm. let me look at it again. I, I'm sorry. Like I have to look at it again. I, I just I have to I have to analyze. Cause okay okay okay. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, one thing I do like is the way that he's saying like gum gum. Like I feel like he's he you know he's putting in that energy, bro. For sure, for sure. I thought the delivery of that would be much worse, but I think he definitely is putting in that energy. He's like gum oh, gum like okay like i mean you know because like like obviously yeah it's english so i guess he wouldn't say like gum oh, gum at oh, all like you know because it's not japanese so yeah i mean they'll probably have that for the japanese dub of course but yeah i mean for for english right he's gonna just say gum gum so yeah but i i feel like yeah his delivery of that the gum gum like he's he's definitely putting it in putting in that passion for sure Yeah, like that, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. But that fist, though. But that arm, though. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it's like, mm, I don't know. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Like, I don't know. It just, it's just something. Yeah, like, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's just like, it looks kind of weird <laughs> like at some angles like or like that one like i don't know when you look at it too long it's just like you can see the vein like oh god i don't know it looks a little weird i guess but yeah but alvita we didn't even get to see alvita like too much but yeah it's okay when fighters call out their finishing moves no they don't okay okay and then you get a little little bit of there i kind of like that i think that's cute i think that's cute all when fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't. It's 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 actually it's funny. He looks like he's so like I don't know. He's so into it, like right here. Like he's so actually like you know he really thinks that like that's what they do or whatever. <laughs> you know, I think I think that's really cute. And this like uh this shot of Zoro here and, and just the, you know, I, I, I like this. I like, I think I like this, this part, like, a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, this looks good. This looks good. Like, this part right here, I like it a lot. I think it's funny. I think it's, like, it's cute. And I think, yeah, Luffy, he's, like, like, he's way too into it to where I think it actually works. Like, the, uh, the humor to where they're, like, putting off. Or they're trying to make him look stupid for thinking that, you know. I, I think that that works so well because he's actually, like, so into that idea. And you can just tell from, like, the way he's, like, he's, like, looking at Zoro. Like, it's definitely, like, he believes, you know. No, they don't. I like that. I like that. I like that. But, yeah, okay. So, also, I just noticed the scar, like, on the skull's eye. That's pretty, that's, you know, the attention to detail is crazy. But, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's actually it. All great fighters call out their finishing moves. I guess that's actually it. Well, I mean, obviously, they weren't going to show everything that we can expect from, you know, this show to come out. We've gotten a lot here for sure. And I feel like we can definitely, from this teaser, from this trailer, like, get more of an idea of what to expect. Which is good because, 
you know been waiting so long for them to show anything uh so it's it's, it's really cool to finally see it yeah <sighs> how do i feel about it honestly i'm not really sure like i said i'm not like the biggest one piece fan out there but like i don't like i think it's way too soon to tell like if it's gonna be good or bad or or whatever um from this because i feel like from this we do see quite a bit but also i feel like we still don't really know how the story is necessarily going to pan out uh over like the eight episodes and we still don't really know like too much you know like like there's obviously things that are here that do show what we're gonna see or like somewhat but I feel like there's still there's still things that I think are definitely going to have to be like seen when the show actually comes out to like really judge um I feel like so I don't want to like I guess get too uh you know prejudgy before like the show comes out cuz obviously I'm going to watch the show and really like formulate my opinions when the show comes out like, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, this trailer did this, so it's going to be bad. Like, you know, I'm not I'm not a believer of that mentality or that mindset. Um, obviously, I'm going to have impressions and opinions on the trailer, um, like the same way I did for the Saint Seiya, you know, live action, whatever. But um, from what we've gotten in here, hmm, it honestly does really remind me of the Cowboy Bebop live action, which I don't think is like terrible because i actually liked the cowboy bebop live action which i mean i don't know i like i i guess a lot of people were torn on that like people hated it people some people liked it some people hated it but whatever um i didn't think it was that bad um like obviously i had problems with it too but like i really didn't think it was that bad if you guys want to know more and like know fully what i think of the cowboy bebop live action just watch my review of it but yeah this does remind me of it quite a bit and it makes since because this is also tomorrow studios which also did cowboy bebop but yeah so i mean yeah i guess that's all i can really say is like it does kind of remind me of the live action cowboy bebop don't know how people are gonna take that or feel about that but yeah i just i don't know i still feel like there's definitely stuff that it's like maybe too early to judge but i think right now it doesn't look bad it doesn't look like the best it doesn't look the greatest it doesn't look that bad i guess so yeah like obviously like no matter what i'm still gonna watch it i'm still gonna support it like i'm still gonna you know um review it and 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 see you know how well they adapted this how well they adapted that and changes that they made if they worked better for a live action show like you know i'm still gonna be really invested and really interested in this series regardless um of what anyone thinks i guess but uh yeah i guess i just i'm not like on the side of like oh my god this trailer came out it's trash like it's gonna be bad definitely don't think that uh, but I'm also not, like, you know, just blindly gonna stand the series like a lot of One Piece fans do for One Piece. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, like, it doesn't, it doesn't look that bad to me. But, yeah, I guess my, my opinion on it right now from this trailer is that it's, it's alright. Like, you know, I don't think super highly of it and I don't think super bad of it either. Like, I'm just kind of like, this was alright, I guess. You know, it definitely didn't blow me away by any means. Um, but I'm also just kind of like, it didn't make me think that it's going to be like completely awful, I guess, you know, like there were moments I was like, oh, okay, you know, this, that, whatever. Right. So, you know, and, and obviously again, it's a teaser. So it's not like this is like the final trailer and like, you know, we're going to, we're going to see like a whole lot. I'm expecting, like, I'm probably going to like what I see more as we get more trailers and more information, stuff like that so yeah um but yeah my, i guess my opinion on it is just pretty neutral right now like i don't really and again like i said i'm not the biggest fan of one piece or anything so i don't really like you know oh i see one thing and i'm like oh it's ruined like i know you know like i don't really care too much about like that like if they nail every little detail or whatever like I, i'm down for some changes you know I, i'm i'm completely open to it because i'm unbiased and i'm not like the biggest one piece fan of all time you know so but yeah, like like I said, uh, right now I'm just kind of neutral about it. I think it's it's fine, you know. It's 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 not the worst thing. It's not the best thing, and I just need to see more, I guess. Now, so uh, yeah, 
I'm still really excited and I still really want to see more of what they actually do decide to show us hopefully in the future months coming because this show is coming out August 31st so you know pretty soon like ah that's crazy August 31st is when this show's coming out that's actually crazy like wow like now that I think about it like wow we're already in June July and then August like that's crazy wow that's actually crazy but yeah so we'll be getting this show pretty soon uh actually so yeah i guess with this out of the way um, i'm probably gonna be making a lot of videos covering this series of course um as i've been doing you know on my channel for a long time but now that we're getting like trailers and stuff and interviews i'm gonna be doing my best to keep up with everything so hopefully you guys stay tuned and stick around subscribe to the channel because yeah i mean I'm covering all the anime live action projects from Hollywood, if you guys didn't know. Not just the One Piece one, but also, you know, My Hero Academia, One Punch Man film, Promised Neverland series from Amazon. Like, there's so many. If you guys didn't know, there's just so many. And, you know, all you need to do to stay up to date with all that is just subscribe to the channel. But yeah, um, I guess that's going to be it for this one, and I'm going to end it here. Um, please let me know what you guys think about, you know, just anything I had to say uh, or anything you guys thought of whilst watching the trailer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next video.